We only see angry LeBron when he gets tested. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm I hope you guys did not hear that. Um, What's going on guys, it's Steve, so during All-Star Weekend, LeBron James, Ted, he did not have a rivalry with Stephen Curry. Now, what do I honestly think about that? I agree, okay? Here's the thing, Stephen Curry is an incredible player, absolutely incredible, but he doesn't come close to as good as LeBron James is. If you noticed... The first three, four, four games, LeBron was playing extremely lackadaisical. He thought they would just walk over the Warriors because everyone was healthy. And what happened? The Warriors went up 3-1. to one. And then when LeBron turned up the heat and actually played aggressive instead of passive, I, I that's my biggest knock at LeBron that I've seen since he came into the league. He plays too passive at times where he shouldn't. Anyway, so when LeBron James picked it up, what happened? 41 points, 41 points, close to 40 with the triple-double. Crazy, best defensive play of all time. This guy, he's just not on the level. And he sucked Stephen Curry's heart straight out of his chest. He absolutely, it's like he, he didn't even, he punched his, like, it's like he put his hand in his chest and just grabbed it and snatched his heart away. Did you see when LeBron James blocked Curry? And, Le and Curry looked at him like a little kid, and LeBron like was talking trash, and Curry was just like a scared little kid. He absolutely ripped his heart out. Now, the rivalry is not between LeBron and Curry. Now, there is a rivalry between the Warriors and Cavaliers, because we're most likely going to see them within the next few years in the finals, maybe four years in a row, maybe five years in a row, including the past two years. Uh, so that's three, two to three more times, maybe one, two, three, who knows. Um, but... The rivalry is not going to be between Stephen Curry and Kyrie Irving. I mean, and LeBron James. The rivalry is going to be between Stephen Curry and Kyrie Irving. However, the big real rivalry, because these two will actually be guarding each other, where Kyrie and Steph, they won't be guarding each other. LeBron and Kevin Durant, that is going to be the real rivalry. We are going to see something so extraordinary over the next few years between LeBron James and Kevin Durant. They're really good friends, but it's going to be an era where we look back and when we talk about greatest rivalries ever we talk about lebron versus bird i mean not, not lebron versus bird lebron versus kevin durant now the reason why i say that we're gonna we're gonna look back and we're gonna be like this is when we talk about the best rivalries ever we're gonna talk about lebron and kd you know we're gonna talk about larry and bird i think lebron and kd are going to have one of the best rivalries of all time and the Cavs versus warriors will have one of the best rivalries of all time 20 25 years from now we're gonna look back at this era and say wow were we blessed to actually watch not just lebron in his prime but kevin durant go at it in his prime as well it's incredible absolutely incredible and, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to see who's going to be winning championships within the next few years. Because, to be honest, not necessarily exactly this year, but if, they, if the Warriors beat the Cavs this year and then they beat them again next year, people are going to start talking. And I don't blame them. Saying, you know what? Maybe Kevin Durant's the best in the world now. LeBron, you've been the best for almost 10 plus years now. Maybe it's time to pass the torch to KD. You know, that's what people are going to be saying, and I don't blame them. To beat someone twice in a row in the finals, people would have said that if Curry, and I, I, I could, there's nothing I could have done to, you know, to deny it. If Stephen Curry would have beaten the Cav LeBron again in the 2016 NBA Finals, if the Warriors would have beat the Cavs again, people would have said Curry's the best player in the world. And there's not a damn thing I can do to defend LeBron. Why? Because he was playing passive. He wasn't playing well at all in the first four games. And then he finally took it up. People started questioning him, questioning him. People started saying Curry's the best. And what did he do? He ripped his freaking chest out. That's the main. I think, honestly, I think that's why we never see that angry LeBron. We only see angry LeBron when he gets tested. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm, I hope you guys did not hear that. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. Wow. Ooh, catch your composure, Steve. I'm so sorry for that, guys. That just came out. We've seen LeBron tested before, 20, 2007, but he, his, his legacy wasn't really tested. When was his legacy tested? 2012. 
against the Boston Celtics Game 6 when he dropped 45 points. When was his legacy? Legacy tested 2016 down 3-1. He always shows up and he, be, and he becomes angry LeBron when his legacy is most tested and people are questioning him. So if Kevin Durant can play at an extremely high level and people are starting to question, maybe we'll see another LeBron that's still dominant and still the best player in the world, even when he's like 34, 35, which is ridiculous. Okay? And, you know, wow, that, that, I'm sorry for farting, man. I don't, I don't know what the hell that was. That, I did not think you guys would hear that. Uh, I hope you guys didn't. We'll see when I upload this video. If, if that part of the video is in the front of the video in the intro, then obviously I could hear it when I replay the audio. Anyway, guys, this rivalry is not between Curry and LeBron. It's between KD and LeBron. It always has been, and it always will be. The only difference is, is the Warriors were better than the Thunder, which is why we never got to see the Oklahoma City Thunder in the finals the last few years, uh, which would have been scary. Kyrie versus Russ, LeBron versus KD. Whoa. Anyway, guys, this is Steve. I'm out. Peace.